Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, there was a snap that time. I'm changing it up, you guys. I'm changing it up. But, oh, my eyes are watering. Please, wing, do not come off. Um, but yeah, today's video is this look right here using mostly affordable products. Um, do I have anything else to say? I do not. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and which products I used, then please keep on watching. Okay, you guys, let's get started. So I've primed my eyes a little bit with Urban Decay Primer Potion. If you don't have primer, go in with a concealer. Next, I'm going to take a light brown, warm light brown shade for the crease. So I'm going to take this crease brush and kind of start just putting this into my crease. And then keep dipping back into the color until you have the uh, pigmentation that you like. I'm going to dip into that same color. I don't know if I said the color. It's Bobbi Brown Toast. So I'm going to dip into the same color and I'm just going to go along the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is a MAC 217. And I'm going to dip into Makeup Geek Frappe. Another warm color. It's a little bit darker than Toast. And we're going to take that and we're going to put it right underneath that first color. So I kind of like to go in circular motions right at the edge here. And then kind of bring it in like this and then you can also start taking it up into the crease really lightly and then just take that big fluffy brush again and blend everything together I'm going to take frappe again and go into a smudger brush and just apply that really close to my lash line so next I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush and spritz some Fix Plus on it. I have like none left. And then I'm going to dip into Makeup Geek's Afterglow Pigment. It's like a really pretty champagne color. And this is why we're doing our eyes first because this can have a lot of fallout and become really messy. So I'm just going to look close into my mirror and apply the pigment. So we're going to apply it on our whole lid up to the crease but not beyond. So let that dry for a second and then we'll go in with that same brush that has frappe on it and blend it out so it doesn't look um, so sharp. If you try to blend it out while it's wet it's just going to make a really big mess so wait till it's dry. So I went, bleh, bleh. I went ahead and applied a coal pencer to my pencer. Why? Why can I not talk? I went and applied a coal pencil to my tight line and my waterline. Next, we're going to go in with a cotton pad and a little bit of makeup remover and just wipe away all that fallout. This can also help you make a crisper line when it comes to the shadow, when you're cleaning it up, like that. So it gives you a bit of a cat eye. Okay, so my camera stopped recording, <laughs> but I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did. I took a black coal liner and added it to my tight line and my water line. I took a liquid eyeliner and made a wing, and then I took these drugstore lashes, these Quo, whoa, yo, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but these are drugstore lashes and I took those and threw them on and that is where we are at. Sorry you guys, I, I want to punch my camera in the face too. I do. I do. Okay, but we're going to continue on with the face. I'm going to prime my face with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. This is a really nice primer that gives you... A really nice glow it's very um, 
highlighting, I guess you could say, or illuminating. So I'm just going to put this, I'm going to focus it merely, I'm going to focus it mainly on my cheek area and right above my brows. Next up, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Um, this color is 205. It is dark for me. I know. It's going to be dark, but I'll lighten it up with my concealer. So I'm just going to take about that much. Spread it around. Take a beauty blender and blend that shit out. This is a really nice foundation. Um, it's very, very hydrating, gives you a really pretty subtle glow. And it doesn't cake up on my dry areas, which is a big plus for me. Next up, I'm gonna go in with CoverGirl Superstay Better Skin Corrector and Concealer. And I'm gonna use this to highlight and conceal. So you can see it's a bit lighter. So that'll really help even out um, the foundation. Down the nose. A little bit up here, up here. I also like to take it right here, right below my contour, because that'll give you a natural contour. And blend out with the Beauty Blender. And the concealer can really help you clean up the edges of your eyeshadow. So I forgot to tell you guys that on my lashes, I use the Maybelline Big, no, the Colossal Big Shot. This is a really nice mascara. It's very, very volumizing and it doesn't clump up easily, which I love. I hate it when mascaras clump up. That was a, that was a lot of anger for the situation. Okay, so next up, I am going to go in with makeup. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer. Shimmer Shimmer. I'm gonna apply it lightly right underneath my brow bone. I'm also gonna take Shimmer Shimmer on the inner corner. So I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush. I'm just making sure there's nothing on it. I'm going to go into RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm going to set my under eyes. I also like taking it down the nose area and around just where my oils would come out throughout the day. Okay, next we're going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Oh, this smells like a tropical paradise. I'm going to dip in with my MAC brush and apply this on my cheeks. It's such a pretty color. It looks so natural on and... It's really subtle, but it has a bit of a sheen to it. It's just so beautiful. I'm also going to take that up here. I want to contour a little bit, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Contour Palette. I believe this is the lightest one. So I'm going to dip into the contour and lightly just contour my cheekbones. Sticking with that same palette, I am going to dip into the blush. It's a really pretty pink color. I'm going to go in with my MAC blush brush and lightly apply this blush. Same palette, we're going to go in to the highlight. This looks like it's going to be a very subtle highlight, but we shall see. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's really pretty. So if you like, um, like a very subtle lit from within highlight, um, I think you'll like this. I'm also going to take that highlight right above the brow. On the bridge of the nose. 
I'm going to take MAC Extended Play Mascara and apply it to my lower lash line. So once all the face products are on, I just take a big brush and blend everything together just so everything looks nice and seamless. Next up, we're going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I have the color 314. It's a really pretty rosy color. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my lips. So I wanted a bit more of a highlight, so I went into this Paula's Choice um, cheek palette and went into this kind of pink one, like a whitey pink, whitey pink, what a bad description. And I just went and added a little bit more to the tops of my cheekbones because I am a highlight fiend. I really like making this C like this. I think it looks really, really pretty when you turn your head. This may be too much for some people, but ugh, you just love highlight. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video, and I hope you will like, subscribe, and come back. For the next one, who likes my singing? Who likes it? Who likes it? <laughs> Bye, guys.